What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update on the progress that we had on my 40 foot shipping container. I've been ordering supplies, went ahead and put down some checker tile, and also put some racks up. Let's go ahead and check it out. Of course before the shipping container came, I tried to level this little patch of dirt right here, but uh, it ended up being two inches off. So what I did, I went ahead and got some two inch bricks dug some holes on each side of the container, one, one in the front, one in the back, put some floor jacks, lifted it up, and went ahead and put the two inch bricks down. I still gotta cut one brick for the end right there, which I will do shortly here, but it made it almost perfectly level. So it's really nice and level on the inside. So you see Macy right there, hey Macy. She's a guard dog. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and step inside here. Probably a little dark. Oh, okay, it's not not too bad. It is a little messy because it is a working progress. But as you can see, the floor went ahead and put a checker tile down, and then I put some racks up. Put four racks. I'm probably going to get two or four more. I'm just going to see how everything works out here. And of course, like I said in my first video, I'm going to put a wall at the 20 foot mark, which is right at the end of the tile there. Because I'm going to separate it, part of it's going to be my office, I'm going to put a desk all the way in the back back there. And then the other part is going to be more just for storage. You can see i got all my boxes and everything, it is messy. I didn't set up anything, I just went ahead and decided to film. And then also what I noticed in here is the sun bakes on this wall. It literally is like 20 degrees hotter than the ambient temperature outside. So to answer that, I picked up 10 gallons of reflective white paint. This particular brand's called Stay Cool. And I picked up a, a, just a cheap electric spray gun. I think it paid like, probably like $45 for it. So I'm not for sure how good that's gonna work, but we're gonna be trying that out shortly. Now, of course, I'm gonna have lights in here. For power, I'm gonna be using six of these 100 watt HQST solar panels. Kinda of show you guys the, the specs on them there. See, 100 watt, 20 volts. You guys can read that if you want. And then I got as of now, I got 10 AGM sealed batteries and this 3000 watt pure sine wave Ames power inverter. Now, I think I'm going to pick up two more, two more 100 amp uh, batteries. So I'll have a total, let's see, a total of 1200 amp hours, which should be plenty for what I'm going to do. All right, that was my quick update on what I got done to the container so far. If you guys are interested in the solar panels, inverter, or even the racks, I'll go ahead and put the links in the description below. As always, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.